Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and yes, I have another red light panel to unbox and show you today. Now, I'm pretty excited by this panel. Uh, I mean, I'm always excited when a new red light panel turns up on my door, but this one is very, very interesting because I think it is the most expensive red light panel you can buy. Forgetting about the commercial grade, you know, beds and, and all that sort of fancy jazz. For a standalone um, standard body panel that I typically compare here on my channel. Now, how expensive exactly is this panel? £2,400. That works out to be nearly $3,000 US, US dollars, which is massive. Uh, so that's why I'm so excited to have a look at this panel, uh, because at that price, I'm expecting something neat, different, revolutionary, I'm not too sure, hopefully so, something. Um, so, what is this panel? Well, it is the Red Light Rising Advantage. In particular, it is the Advantage 1500. They, Red Light Rising, if you have been following my work for a while, they um, had their full stack panel and that was included in my 2019 body panel comparison. Uh, and they actually came out at third overall, which was, which was a really good ranking and, and their panel I was quite impressed with. Especially because it was quite unique. Um, so the new Advantage series is a new and improved series. They're still selling their full stack panel, but this is their now their most premium option. And um, they're claiming it's the most powerful panel on the market. So uh, obviously we're going to test that. Not in this quick unboxing video that I'm doing now, but that will be coming down the pipeline. So be sure to subscribe to that. So Red Light Rising is a UK based company. I've met the founders. They are awesome guys. Uh, very, very passionate about health, wellness and biohacking. In fact, their website, redlightrising.co.uk, you can go on there and you can get a bunch of awesome information through their blog and also their podcast. But you also notice that they're now selling other biohacking, health and wellness related products such as uh, blue light blocking glasses. They've got salt on there. Uh, I'm sure they've got other things coming through the pipeline as well. So that is pretty neat. It is a little bit different because most of the red light companies specialize in red light therapy. So they've obviously branched out and, and using their skills and talents and um, knowledge and tapping into some of these other markets. So that is interesting. But today I just want to look at the new Advantage 1500. So before we crack open this box with our scissors, I did want to point out a few things about the box itself. As you can see, there's actually Red Light Rising branded tape on the box. And uh, you've got the logos here, plus you've got some pretty neat uh, stickers, which, which is a cool, it's a nice little addition. Why am I making a big deal of this? Well, most I believe all the panels in the market come from China. Well, they're made in China, right? And a lot of the companies send them direct from distribution centers in China. You don't even know what they are. I mean, I know they're a panel based on the shape and size, but you don't know what company. Like, you look at, there's no logos, there's no writing. In fact, sometimes you just see Japanese or Chinese uh, writing on there and some, some markings on the side. And it's not until you open it up until you realize what exactly it is. Now, the fact that Red Light Rising don't have that and instead have gone the other way and added some stickers and some tape and whatnot with their own branding, I think it, I think it's cool. I mean, it shows that they care about the brand and they are, you know, they, they don't want to be seen as just another uh, Red Light company. And I guess with that price point as well, you expect something like that uh, and a little bit more customization. And here it is, the Red Light Rising Advantage 1500. It's a big unit. I mean, it's, it's very heavy. I think it weighs about 12 kilos. Uh, full metal panel casing, which is pretty much standard. I think Juve are the only companies so far that don't use an all metal, all metal casing. You have the Red Light Rising branding on the side here with some air vents. Uh, the other side, more air vents and branding with the control panel at the top. And then come around to the back, we have, what's that, five, six fans on the back, which is a little more than standard. Usually it's about four for a panel this size. PowerPoint, switch, uh, specs, and some rubber feet, so you can put it against the wall, which is all neat, pretty standard sort of stuff. Up the top here, we do have the modular capability function. Um, and at the front, we have the LEDs. Now these are quite small LEDs. They do protrude a little bit, um, so you can feel them as you run your hand across. I don't know if you'll see them from the side, but um, it's a different style of LEDs. I'm not 100% sure 
why, what the difference is between these smaller LEDs and the larger ones you see in your Juve and Biomax Platinum for instance. Um, that's something I'll have to look into. Um, but yeah, a lot of LEDs on here. Being the 1500, there are 500 LEDs on this panel. Red Light Rising do offer a smaller panel. Uh, it is the Advantage 900, which has 300 LEDs. Uh, and obviously it comes at a lower price point. Now the 900, the smaller one, is 1500 pounds. So that's, what's that, 900 pounds less. So that's a big drop in price for a smaller panel. But um, remember, these prices are, are big. You know, we're talking big money for these units. The black design is neat. Uh, you don't see that very often. Typically the other the white panels. Let's have a quick look at the control panel on the side. So I haven't plugged this in yet, but it's a pretty standard control panel. The branding on here is cool. Uh, you've got a light for red and infrared uh, mode, time, okay, and then uh, LCD timer at the top there. So pretty standard. So now that we've seen the new Advantage 1500 from Red Light Rising, what else has changed? What has changed behind the scenes internally here? So obviously it's a new design, uh, bigger panel, more LEDs, especially when you're comparing that to their previous full stack panel. It's a lot more expensive, three times the price of their full stack panel. Um, Red Light Rising is saying that this is the most powerful red light panel on the market at the moment, which is a bold claim to make and something that I will be testing when I do my comparison series. Hopefully that will be up very, very soon. I know I keep saying that, but um, this was the last panel I was waiting for, so that will be up very soon. In that comparison series, I'll be testing the power output from this panel and also all the other panels, such as the new Juve, the new Platinum, Biomax panels, uh, everything else that have Mitre Red panels, so be sure to subscribe to see that. But yes, that is a bold claim from Red Light Rising. Uh, on their site, that they're saying that this panel is putting out 100, 160 milliwatts per centimeter squared at 15 centimeters, so about six inches, which is a massive number. Now, I know a lot of companies put figures like, or put some pretty bold figures out and my testing didn't match up with it. This new panel also has modular capability, so that means you can clip more of these on top um, or stack them on the side. Now, that has been around for a while, but again, the full stack that Red Light Rising previously had didn't have this function functionality. Um, you can, for instance, stack a 900, one of the smaller ones on top of this, and that will give you nearly a two meter high um, panel. This particular panel here is just over a meter. It's 1.1 meters, which is about three and a half, just over three and a half feet. If I stand up next to it, It's about belly button height. Modular capability, again, that's uh, that's kind of a standard now for these panels, so I wouldn't expect anything less. You can go in and buy what Red Light Rising call the Armory, and it is three of these 1500s and three 900s stacked on top of each other, uh, side by side and stacked on top. I'll put a picture up so you can see it. That particular setup, though, is gonna cost you a lot of money. I think it's about 12,000 um, pounds, so it's Big money. Personally, I don't think you need to go three wide uh, with these panels. Two wide is plenty, so you could have two of these and two 900s um, and, and build that setup yourself. Because you can also buy stands for these, uh, the, the Advantage as they are named. You can buy stands for these panels. Finally, they have extended their warranty on these panels. The, this particular panel comes out with a five-year warranty, which I believe is the best in the market. And maybe the only company that has a five-year warranty uh, policy, which is which is awesome. I mean, you kind of want that though when you're spending a couple of thousand dollars on a um, particular panel. Uh, we just purchased a, a, a fridge for a few thousand dollars, and it only has a two-year warranty. And you think, man, I really hope it lasts more than two years. So five years when you're spending two, three thousand dollars, you know that that's a good that's a good uh, positive to have. So what hasn't changed when comparing it to their full stack series? They're still only using 660 and 850 nanometers, and there's plenty of information on their website why they're using those wavelengths. Personally, I do like some of these other wavelengths that are available now with some other panels uh, because there is a lot of research showing the benefits of them. But Red Light Ryzen have chosen, chosen to stick with their 660 and 850 nanometers. And there's also a 30 degree beam angle on these LEDs, which is the same as the Red Light Rising full stack. All right, so that's the panel. Let's see what else came in the box. So first up for these leaflets, there is a thank you and quick start guide here, uh, a warranty return policy guide, and then a also and then also a info sheet on how to link multiple panels together and how to use the control panel. All pretty standard stuff. You also have the power cords here. 
Now, Red Light Rising do send you a PowerPoint for your country that you're residing in, or you can specify which one you want. Now, um, so for me, I'd get an Australia and New Zealand plug, but Red Light Rising did tell me that they were out of stock of the New Zealand ones and um, it would be a little bit longer to get a New Zealand plug. So they express sent this one um, straight from the UK, I believe it was, which means I get this plug, but that was so I could get it in time for my comparison series because this was the last panel I was waiting for. Uh, you've got the pulley cable system, which is also pretty standard in these panels now. You've got the metal clips that screw onto the top so you can hang it from that pulley system. You have an adapter cable uh, for when you're linking multiple units. And then you have this over door hook, which is neat because it's quite wide. It's better than all the panels, the door hooks that I typically receive, which are very narrow and haven't fit, um, been able to fit on any of my doors. So yeah, that's what you get in the box. That's it. All right, let's fire this up. We'll have a quick play around with the control panel and see how it runs. Power is now on, and this is what happens when you turn it on. The timer has come up to three minutes, which is an odd number. Um, you see that red light and infrared lights are selected. So if I press mode, that will allow me to choose between the red light, the 660, and or the infrared 850 light to run, which again is pretty standard these days in these new panels. Uh, time should change the time duration. Let's see what it goes up to. Quite a loud beep. 20 minutes, which also seems to be standard. So let's test that. So you can see a slight pattern here between the red lights and the near infrared lights. If you're new to red light therapy, you can't see the 850 nanometer light is invisible. So for instance, if I turn off uh, if I just run the infrared lights, you can't see it. It is very bright, and again, wow, if you stand in front of that, it is extremely bright. It's, it's, I know I've mentioned this before in some of the recent unboxings, but um, these new panels are very, very bright. A lot brighter than the first and even second gen panels that have been around for a while now. Uh, so it will be very interesting to see how it performs when I get the power meter out and test these units. Um, what else can I report on? The whir from the sa uh, fans is pretty standard. It's not super quiet, but it's not really loud either. Uh, they were quite big fans and there were six of them, so I guess they don't have to work as hard. I would like to see, well I just like panels that work the other way. So for instance, if you turn it on and it just has zero and you press OK and it will start counting up, even if they have to build in a, a time you know, it stops after 20 minutes or something, that, that'd be fine, but they always have to run down, um, which is just something, you know, sometimes I want to go the other way, but hey, it is what it is. But otherwise, I don't really know what else to mention. Uh, it is a good looking unit, it is solidly built. It looks and sounds like it will have a decent amount of power. There are a ton of LEDs, it is simple to use, it's pretty straightforward, uh, control panel. No fancy bells or whistles, which can be a good thing and a bad thing, um, but it does come in at that very high price point. One other thing I will mention, you can head over to redlightrising.co.uk and you can book a free call with the founders from Red Light Rising and they'll help you choose which panel is best for your needs. So, you know, they do offer smaller handheld panels, they do some half panels, they do their previous generation full stack panel and then of course two of these new advantage panels which which I think is cool um I, obviously I haven't been on one of those calls and I don't know anyone that has I don't know how salesy they will will be but I do know having met these guys uh at expos in the past they are very genuine down to earth want to help people uh not all salesy salesy so you know, if you are in the market for one of these panels and you are considering Red Light Rising, I do recommend you go to the website and jump on one of those calls with them. Otherwise, I don't really have much else to say. If you did want to buy one of these panels, be sure to use discount code ALEX, A-L-E-X. That will save 5% on your purchase price and uh, gives me a little bit of a cutback to help produce these videos, so I do appreciate that. Be sure to subscribe though because, like I've said multiple times now, I will be testing this in great detail and using it for a while as well. Of course, this was the very first time I've, I've turned it on, so I can't really reveal much about 
how you did that work, what, what's the uh, usage like, what's my feedback uh, after using it for a few months. That's why I'm doing these unboxing first impression videos and then I set one panel up and I use that for a couple weeks and then I'm going to be filming a full review. Likewise with my comparison, that's where I'm going to compare all these panels next to each other. We're going to compare power, um, wavelengths, EMF output, price, shipping, all of those things. So um, be sure to subscribe and stay around for that. And I will leave it there and we will talk to you soon. Thanks guys.